Is there an area of life where you lack confidence that you just have not feel great around it? So let me ask you this. If you had conviction around that, what would change? Would your behaviors change? Would your mindset change? Would you look at your situation slightly differently? So what's the relationship between confidence and conviction? We look for confidence by looking at things that happen outside our control. That means we're more confident. There's evidence, there's validation from someone else, or there's evidence of a better result from somewhere. You might be strong enough to elicit a level of self-confidence that you don't need any outside evidence, which is great. But conviction is something that you have much more control over. Conviction is a behavior and an attitude towards a task. How much conviction do you have to be intentional around this? And this is the thing, is when you have conviction around a certain task or behavior that you're fully focused on, is your confidence comes as a result. Now, whether you fail or whether you succeed at a task is irrelevant. Now, look, I don't disguise the fact or dismiss the fact that if you are successful, naturally your confidence is gonna increase. But if you fail and you approach it in the right way, every failure can be a learning. It's not fatal. So what do you learn from that situation? Which means you're slightly more confident the next time you take the action. So the relationship between having conviction and confidence is really important. And one leads to the other. What comes first? Depends on the task. So the key is this. Look at the things in your life right now, business-wise or otherwise. Pick three things that you would like to make progress on. Whether it's a project, a task a career decision, a relation, whatever it is, right? The only reason you're not taking action around those areas is you don't feel confident about the outcome. You don't feel confident about approaching it. You don't feel confident about the strategy, okay? So ask yourself this, right? Okay, if you have going to have conviction around those, what do you need to be available to you? So you might say, actually, I need to speak to someone just to get some counsel, a coach or a mentor or a trusted friend. Great. You might need to do some research get some more information around this particular topic so you'll have more conviction around your actions. You might need to actually just have a word with yourself and say, listen, just get out your own way and just take some action. Or look at your past. In your past, where have you had the confidence to take a similar action where you did get a result? And sometimes we forget that in the past, there are certain situations that if we were confronted with right now, we wouldn't feel confident, but we did then because the circumstances or things are different. So my invitation to you is this, is if progress is not happening in certain areas of your life because you're just not confident around it, forget about confidence for one moment, forget about your own self-esteem for one moment, and say, right, okay, what's the mindset I need to adopt to have conviction around this? What strategies do I need to adopt and what actions do I need to take? And then don't stop until you've taken those actions. Once you've taken those actions, judge the output then. Judge the output then. Don't attach yourself to the outcome, but judge the output. And get this, this is my prediction, is by doing that for one week, having conviction around certain projects, give your level of confidence around those tasks out of 10 now, give yourself a score. Whatever that score is, I will guarantee that if you take those actions, having conviction of those for one week, your confidence score will raise.